Okay, this is Jeff. I'm going to uh, run a quick test. Uh, I was going to connect over here to uh, Steve M0 NMA's radio just to see if some issues have been resolved. So when I go ahead and uh, highlight it and click on connect, um, that's the first stage in actually using the radio. And when I do that, I notice that there is audio showing up on the AF line. So I can come down here to the AF here, turn it up a little bit, and there's activity on this radio, even without connecting with RSBA1 yet. So I'm wondering if uh, I'm going to be able to hear anything. I think he's got the squelch turned up a bit. But you can tell there's something going on there. And this is without even connecting with RSBA1. So I'm connected to it, but apparently he's got his radio on and he's using it as well. So in that case, I probably don't want to use RSBA1 to uh, actually interfere with it. But if I did, I mean, you notice it's not even running here and I'm hearing sounds. I could come over here and connect to it. But then when I disconnect, because of this setting, I'll be turning off his radio. So chances are I won't do that, but that's the situation that happens if someone is using their radio and they have it connected to a server and the server is running. When you go to use RSBA1 on someone else's radio and they're using the radio, you'll hear their uh, the audio. Being in the UK, there's a lot of uh, European stations on there. So if I were to connect to a different radio, let me just go ahead and right click and disconnect this one. That's pretty loud. Okay, so if I disconnect over here, I'm going to say uh, yes, I want to disconnect the radio. I'm not shutting it down. In fact, I can show you that if I go ahead and reconnect to the radio. I haven't really affected his radio yet because I didn't run RSBA1 on it. So let me just go ahead and disconnect and I'll see if any of the other radios we're using have a similar situation. Um, this in my server list, here are some of the servers that I can use. Let me connect to Jordy's server. I'm going to go ahead and connect to it here. And I go over to uh, Jordy's radio, which is uh, in Indiana, that's this one. So I say connect to it, and this time I don't hear any audio, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that radio. I come over here now and I make sure that it's a 7300, it's connected by USB, and there's his radio. This is one of the advantages of RSP1, you can join a group and uh, talk with other radios. All these things line up, I've checked them with the right hand side to be sure that the K's and K9NZF radio settings are the same. So now when I connect, see what happens here, I connect and now uh, if he was there his radio would show that someone's connected to it. So let's see here, we have a bunch of signals here, what do we got going on here? So I hit on the center mode, click there and it's almost an instantaneous tuning in with a combination of the spectrum scope. Let's pick another station, see where the receiver is right now. 3.913. Let me click on this one. Go into the fixed mode again. And uh, where is he? I must not be on the right frequency for him. This looks like it might be AM, so let's click on that. Oh, there's another station. That guy's just tuning up. What do we have over here? These are not great sounding stations. But you notice in this center mode, oh, here we go. Let's go back to this. So that's AM. You can always tell for the AM stations because there's upper and lower sideband as well as the carrier. 
So here's a guy tuning up on top of him. So this is 3.8, well let me just round it up here a little bit, 3.885. So I'm going to use the memory and I'm going to just go over here to this channel and I'm going to say memory write and I'm going to save that 3.885 and this is just strong uh, 80 meter stations. So now I'm going to disconnect from his radio now. Memory channel has changed, yes, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. And now that I'm disconnected, it's always good practice to uh, disconnect from his radio, so I'm going to do that. Do I want to disconnect? Yes. Now let's go down here to uh, Rich's radio on that same three point, whatever it was, frequency. So I'm going to connect to that radio. It tells me what my virtual port is. I come over here and uh, this one's in New York. I'm in California. Go ahead and connect to this FCC. Where is it? WS6 FCC 3. Point. That, that matches up with this. All these settings match up, so I say OK. Then I connect. And then I'm going to just hit this uh, button here from the memory channel, and it'll take me immediately to that frequency, which is 3.885. So I click on it and uh, put this away now. And indeed, there is the AM station functioning. Turn that up a little bit. I can turn the preamp on. So, I don't know how much of this we need. Make sure that the filter is set for wide. And you can uh, turn on the sideband. Sometimes tuning in the AM and sideband mode actually works a little better. There's his carrier. So again, when I shut down, you always want to be sure to shut this down. So the AM so sounds pretty good on this, and, uh, this radio. Good if it starts to you. blast out, good. you can click on the set mode, well, that's a and you can change this from 80, let's say, down to 60. It quiets it down a little bit. It also changes it on the radio itself. So if I put this, it goes from 0 to 255, so let me put it on the 128. Okay, 7 3, sir, Chris. Have a good one. We'll talk to you again. AK1G, W2, Echo, Delta, clear. So he's got the setting. Good morning, Chris. Contact AJ. Oh, and of course, Merry Christmas to so the station's nearby tuning up always like it. Okay, that's it. A couple things you can do. Turn off the scope, uh, disconnect from the radio. It shuts it down because that's how the connect set was set. It said the software turns off the radio, and that's fine. And then over here you want to be sure to disconnect from another user's radio. <coughs> and uh, that's uh, a quick rundown of how you can use RSPA1 to use radios around the country. So, so far I've connected to a radio in England and one in New York, and I'm in California, W6FCC. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, a Happy Kwanzaa, Happy whatever it is you want to be happy about. Have fun.